Hi, I'm Shaka Starks and welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I got this look, definitely keep watching. In this video, I'm showing you guys the best technique for fine hair and thin edges. I'm going to be showing you step by step my braid pattern, how I lay my tracks and position them so you cannot see my thin edges, how I blend my hair and style. So it's the next morning. This is how my hair looks when I took off my scarf. It is all nice and stretched and dry and clean and ready to... If you want to see how I edge. wash and prep my hair, definitely go back and watch the video Arling. before this so you can see every step. So here we go. Let's get started with braiding this hair. So I just, just brushed down my hair and now I am... Figuring out where I want my part to go. I'm doing a side part, so I'm parting it in a place where my edges are a little fuller. Um, and I just go ahead and section that leave out and braid it so it's not in the way. And then I pin it up so it is out of the way. And then I just part away my anchor braids. So I do two braids at the top and two braids around the perimeter of my head. I am clipping the hair away. I do use braiding hair for my anchor braids. Only for those four braids and the rest, I just corn braid, ugh, I corn roll my hair straight back. So you see me grabbing a little bit of braiding hair and I'm gonna just put a drop of this oil on the hair so that it is not dry. And I'm corn rolling my first anchor braid straight back. A little trick that I do so that this braid doesn't slip back too far is I'll just start braiding like a regular box braid before I grab more hair. And that helps it to not slip. Now I'm doing this second anchor braid around the perimeter of my head behind my ear. And this one is gonna go all the way around to the back. So that's what you see me doing there. I'm just corn rolling all the way around my head. And I'm gonna braid it down all the way to the end. There's my other, my last anchor braid, I believe. Oh, cool. Who's that from? Where are you gonna dinosaur piece, bro? Where are you gonna dinosaur piece from, Malcolm? Can y'all get out of my video? Oh, but I didn't know you were doing your video. <laughs> Can we? So I'm taking my time with my anchor braids. I have like moved my edges out of the way. So I'm not pulling them out any more than they already are. Um, and then in the back, I just braid the rest of my hair just straight back. I don't use braiding hair for these braids. Um, and then I just connect them together. Okay, so I am done braiding. Finally, finally. Actually, it didn't really take that long. So this is my braid pattern. These are my little braids. I have three braids. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. Actually, now so you can see the back. That's what it looks like. So after I connect the braids, I just add some oil to my edges and in all of my parts. It's pretty much the, the hack. The dome cap is basically what allows me to just make sure that my sew-in so, is nice and flat and I can fit more hair onto my head. Down. I'm going to just go ahead and do my needles first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five needles. So now I'm threading my needle so I don't have to stop a million times and I've sewed my braids up and I'm about to put this dome cap over my head and sew it down. It's dome cap time, it's dome cap time. I'm excited. Hobby. <laughs> Hobby. Sometimes these be really small, so I'm gonna stretch it. So I'm making sure this leave out section is out of the way so that after I put on my dome cap and I sew it, I don't accidentally cut my hair. This is a very important step. Make sure you can clearly separate it. 
Get a dome cap that is a little bigger so that once you sew it down, it's not stretching across because you don't want it to pull your braids. You're gonna be braiding down your tracks through the dome cap, through your hair, through the braids. So it's gonna be secure. You don't need your dome cap to be super tight. It will also give you a headache. So just make sure, you know, it's just on there, not really tight. I am going to sew around those perimeter those anchor braids so that's what you see me doing right now i'm just feeling for the braids and sewing through another important step is make sure that your edges are brushed away from your braids so that you do not sew through your edges or sew through your leave out so here i am just sewing around I'm going slow. I sped it up because it's repetitive, but I am taking my time and feeling where that braid is. So take your time when you're doing this. You can sit in front of the TV, play some music, watch a movie. Um, I'm not going to lie. This does take a while. But like once you get used to doing it, you can do it yourself. You can save your money. You don't have to go to the salon. And use the dome cap because it just makes it easier. It's kind of like the same technique as a quick weave because you don't have to worry about sewing into your braids you can just be sew careful. right across be careful so i am carefully cutting away the dome cap i'm kind of just clipping in and letting it tear by itself um i'm just cutting it so it's open and then i'll go back and kind of be more detailed about where i cut it but i just wanted to to kind of rip open so that I'm not cutting the stitches or the braids. You don't want to cut your thread because then that whole thing is going to pop off. <laughs> and that's the worst. So just be careful. You don't have to cut too close. You see me going back and being more detailed. But you just want to like rip that joint open and cut around. So I am basically pulling the dome cap and just making tiny little clips and letting it kind of rip by itself. So I'm finally done cutting away the dome cap. Now I'm just brushing down my edges. Again, I'm here for the dome cap because if you're not a braider, it's going to make sure that your braids are nice and flat underneath. It protects your hair. It's satin, so it's soft. Um, and now I'm about to sew in my tracks. I'm showing you how... Um, long this bundle is i love this hair but the bundles are really small so i am gonna sew i'm doubling my weft and i'm sewing at the bottom of my braid so i'm sewing underneath the braid you're gonna see me in a second i just use a clip to hold the other side up and i'm making sure that they are doubled and that they don't fall down because that's the worst when you end up sewing through one of the tracks and you realize that they're not both together. So I'm just holding it together and sewing underneath that braid. Um, I'm taking my thread and I'm going underneath the braid, um, underneath the wefts, through the dome cap, <laughs> and around the braid. I don't, I think that's pretty detailed. But you can just watch me do it a couple of times. So I'm taking the thread underneath that braid and around the weft, through the dome cap, through the braid. When I get to the end, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to again sew underneath, pull it through. There are lots of videos on YouTube on how to sew. I just want you guys to see the technique that I'm using um, to make sure that my edges are not exposed. So here I'm just sewing in that first bundle, going track by track, flipping, 
flipping that track and going back and forth. So I've finished that one threaded needle and I'm just going to take my other thread and needle and just continue where that stopped. I tied a knot and I'm gonna show you in a few seconds how I secured that knot, but I'm still going back and forth, flipping the wefts. I really hate cutting my wefts because I feel like that's how you get a lot of shedding. And it also makes it harder when you want to reuse your bundles so here i am just wrapping around and around and i'm gonna pull a knot through and then i'm gonna cut it and just tie it so that is secure so that is one bundle So I'm done with that bundle. I forgot to mention that I used the newest bundle because it's a little longer for the back section and I'm just combing through before I move on. Okay, so I have to have a team meeting. So I just threw on this hat and yeah. Put some lipstick on. Comment below if y'all are working from home and trying to get stuff done in between meetings. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back from my meeting. I had to finesse that joint. Oh, ma'am, can you take off your... <laughs> Ma'am, can you take off your hat, please? <laughs> Ma'am, can you take off your hat, please? Uh, why? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> why do you need me to take off my hat? I'm tired now. Mm. And now I'm just looking at my bundles to see which one is longer. I want the longer one in the back so that it ends up giving is a layered this, effect. My friend is the hack we gonna take this joint around town okay we're gonna take this joint oh it smells so good we're gonna take this joint around town and you're not even gonna know we don't have edges under there you're not gonna know how do you know now Patting on now. I'm just gonna pin this here. So now I'm sewing in this front part. This part is important, y'all. Take your time. What I'm doing is I am sewing underneath that braid again. So I'm not sewing on top of the braid. I lay that track right underneath the braid and I just sew around the braid, through the dome cap, in front of the the braid so you're gonna see what I'm doing again I'm not sewing on top of that braid it is underneath that braid I use a pin to secure it and I'm just sewing around I don't cut this weft I actually just keep sewing to the back and then you're gonna see how I flip it before I go to the next side I have a pretty long thread so I just keep going. I like to make my threads pretty long, not too long, because then they get tangled and that's annoying. But I'm taking my time and I'm going around my head. And the tracks are still doubled. I forgot to mention that. So here you're gonna see me flip it over and I'm bringing it all the way back to the front. Um, again, I didn't cut this weft. I think it was, uh, it was already kind of cut that way because I used this hair before. Um, so you're going to see me fold it and I'm going around this folded area, making sure that it's flat. I go around a couple times 
and I'm just gonna keep sewing. I do a loop it through. I go down, sew downward, and I pull it through the loop. And so I'm bringing this around to the front. And it's important that I'm folding in the back and I'm not folding the hair up front because I don't wanna get that bump. So that is the end of that bundle. And you can see it's nice and flat. I'm combing out any tangles that are close to the weft so I can make sure that I am sewing nice and flat. And I get to the top and it honestly, it was like the perfect length where it stopped right where I needed it to stop. So I'm just brushing out any tangles. That's my second bundle, y'all. So I'm looking to see which bundle is kind of longer because I do want to lay them so that they end up kind of layering and blending. So I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm going to double that weft and take it right up to the front of my anchor braid. I'm using a bobby pin to make sure it doesn't move so I can sew it down and I have a clip in the front. And I'm gonna start sewing underneath that braid again so that the hair goes toward my face. And I'm just going to sew all the way around, starting underneath, or yeah, underneath that braid, not through the braid, not over the braid, underneath that first anchor braid, making sure that that hair is laying toward my face. This is super important if you are a girl with thin edges because you want that hair to fall forward so that it's not exposing you, okay? So just take your time and just keep sewing, making sure that that hair is going forward and underneath that anchor braid. This is probably the most important part as far as the way you're positioning your tracks. So again, I am folding in the back, not at the front. And I just keep going back and forth folding that track until I get up to the top. Once I get up to the top, I start to just use um, single tracks. Like I'm not doubling the track anymore because I don't want it to be as bulky or full at the top. I want it to be flat. So I'm just going back and forth in the back. I'm flipping in the back. So here is where I start to just lay single tracks. Um, so I'm not doubling them. These are just shorter pieces that were already cut. Um, but if you're using new bundles, you just want to measure and make sure that it is the right length or crossed so you don't have to fold them. And so they'll be nice and flat at the top.
and I just continue to sew in kind of like a U shape um, around until I get close to my leave out and then you'll see me lay my last few tracks but I'm just going around that leave out in a U shape with single tracks. As I start to get closer to the top, I will cut these tracks just to make sure that they're flat. I hate cutting the wefts, but at the top, it's kind of necessary just so that you don't have any like bulkiness. Okay, so I'm back with like, maybe like two tracks left, I'm not sure. So this is pretty much the only time when I cut my wefts and I measure to make sure it is the right length and it goes around and so that's what you see me doing i let the weft go a little bit over the braid so you'll see that in a minute i do kind of leave like a little flap so i'm sewing this isn't my last track on this side but it is my last track on the shorter side you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'm going kind of behind the braid on this side and I'm just gonna sew around where my leave out is. And I'm using some water just to make sure that there's no tangles and it's flat here. And it makes it easy to see where I want to sew. So this braid I'm sewing right under that last braid and when i go around i am going to put the track over the braid and i'm gonna sew underneath the braid it's kind of hard to explain but just you'll you'll see in a second what i mean so i take the track i hold it over almost all the way to that part and then i just sew so it's nice and flat this is my last track on this side Now I'm going to just stitch right through this little piece. I recommend not cutting it until you see how far it goes over. So then I'm gonna clip it, but I am gonna leave like a little tiny flap just to lay. I didn't want to sew through there because that part of my hair is super fragile and I didn't want to create a lot of attention, but I leave a little bit and I just let it lay over there. So I'm finally to the last track on this side. I measure out a piece. I put it pretty much right up to that part and I sew flat, okay? I kind of hold it down and I sew all the way under the braid a little. I pull that track a little bit over the braid so that I get as close to the part as possible and I just sew it down until I get to the front. I'll leave a little flap like I did on the other side. You'll see in a second.
So here's a little flap that I was talking about. It's like a half a centimeter that I just leave to lay over that part because again, I don't want to knot it right at the top of my um, hair because it's super fragile there. But I do just let it lay and like after I tie my scarf down, it's flat. I don't really worry about it moving and I just knot it and just clip that last thread. And I'm done sewing, guys. I'm just making sure that everything is flat and I didn't like catch any of the I am done. Finally, I'm just gonna spray it all spray it all down so it can all the curls can kind of blend together so now i am taking out my leave out i'm about to blend it guys i'm so happy to be done with this sewing it took a minute you see my son was in the background i had to stop for a meeting like is yeah but yeah so i am brushing through and i'm just gonna make sure that my part is perfect you just kind of kind of play with it and make sure that there is enough hair on each side to cover your tracks and that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna flat iron it in a second. But I just wanna make sure that my part is perfect. And it is. Yeah. How long it is. You can see that your girl, we can't see the situation on the side okay um so now i'm just gonna go through real quick and kind of just trim it like the teeniest bit i don't want to cut off the length but i do want to make sure that it's blended so i'm just clipping on an angle down and that's it And this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Finally, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Yo, this took forever. So now I'm going to flat corner. This looks fucking good. Okay. Good flip. The wind can blow. The wind can blow. I mean, you still, it's still, you know, giving a little, okay, okay, what, 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 oh, okay, oh, 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 okay, <laughs> all right, so now I'm about to flat iron, also using some glass action, this is like a serum that, um, it's by Amica. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is from Hair and Space 2. I'm like, it goes up to 450. Pretty much gonna use it on 450 because I don't plan on flat ironing my hair every day. Um, I'm just gonna brush. I think that's a nice blend. I said you're roaming hat, 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 hat. Watch your mouth. I said you're roaming hat. All right, let me stop and let me put my tongue in my mouth. All right, that's my husband's. So put your tongue in your mouth. All right, so I'm just taking a teaser. Oh, little drop. Putting it on top.
and this might seem like it's unnecessary but i'm just gonna it's necessary to me all right there's not really anything there <laughs> and yeah so now i'm just gonna take this hair you see how little leave out it is but it's covering okay I just go through with one pass around my leave out um, and I just straighten it first and then you'll see me curl it to kind of blend it with the curl pattern. Just gonna make sure I'm covering. Make sure that all the tracks are covered. Okay, so now I'm gonna go grab the leave out and then grabbing a little bit of the weave, and I'm just gonna basically just curl it together all the way down like that. I'll do that here. Doing the same thing on the other side, just curling it and, and blending it, grabbing a little bit of the weave and curling it together so that that curl just clumps together. And now I'm just curling the ends. I don't really like that the ends are kind of like straight, but I don't curl the whole thing. I keep it its normal like wavy texture and I just basically curl it at the ends. And then you'll see me brush it together and that's all I do. You can also use a curling wand for this. I don't have one. I feel like that would be a little easier to keep that wavy pattern, but you can see, or a curling iron. I'm using my flat iron. I pretty much use my flat iron for everything. And that's what I do. Okay, so I like to kind of do this. I like to take my comb and go forward and then like kind of like mold it like that. And I will like put it behind my ear so that it does that situation. And then for this, I'll like comb it up towards the my face and I will actually actually so I like to also just like clip it there so that it kind of stays like that and then for this I'll comb it towards my face make sure everything is covered comb it towards my face And I'll just take my flat iron right here. And I'll just give it a little like lift right there. This part is absolutely optional. I'm gonna take this hair fibers and I'm gonna take my comb. Actually, I'm gonna take this. 
I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm just gonna dust it with this. I actually never did that before, but I just wanted to try it. Try it, try it. And now I'm just, you know, gonna finish finessing. Equal Charlie gel. I don't like a like a heavy hold. And I just get in the teensiest. This is like an extra detail that you do not have to do, but I like to do it because it's fun. It's like I like to do it because I want to. And I take this little spoolie and I just, you know, swoop that little situation there. I'm just brushing it forward and swooping it back. Okay. Rolling it back. And then. And then the same thing over here with that part. That's it. That's the finesse from the best. That's the finesse from the best. <laughs> <laughs> but now that's it girl that's it my birthday hair is popping it's my birthday it's my birthday yeah my birthday yeah my birthday yeah my birthday but i so yeah i hope you enjoyed this let's get into some slow mo's okay get into some slow mo's you see See that? You see that? You see that? Okay. You see that? All right. That's what we want. We don't want to be exposed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, you're a real one. I know this was very detailed and super long, but I hope it was helpful. This is what I do. I feel like there aren't any videos on like, you know, for sew-ins for girls with no edges or for fine hair. So I hope this is helpful. I kind of just figure this technique out on my own. So try it. Let me know if it works for you. Be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and look out for new videos. Look out for more hair videos, home decor, and lifestyle. I'm going to be doing a full review on this hair, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Thanks. And I'll see you in my next video.